in golf this past weekend won the weekend the match two where Peyton and Tiger Woods teamed up to take on Phil Mickelson and Tom Brady the ratings have come out we thought it was going to be big it was 5.8 million which makes it the largest cable golf thing in the history of cable golf things <laughs> Cable, mm -hmm. obviously not network television, network television. For instance, the Masters on NBC, that had around 10 million, which makes me ask, where were the other 4.2 million that watched the Masters that could have watched the two best golfers of a generation and potentially the two best quarterbacks of a generation play golf whenever there's no other sports going on? What are the other 4.2 million doing? I have no idea, but 5.8 million people average a high of 6.3 million. That is a lot of humans watching people golf. Tom Brady probably would have been the only one that would have hated that many people seeing him golf but he holed out from 150 he made an eagle putt he was in that thing till the end they were down three then down one i think it was a win-win for all sides and i i'm happy that 5.8 million people watch i thought it would have been more i thought it would have been more not only because the masters had 10 million and game of thrones averaged like 10 million and that's on HBO, which is hard to get mm. to. But I just thought people, just like I thought The Last Dance would have more than like mm -hmm. six million. It had like six million every time. I would assume that our world that we live in, we think these things are a lot more important than everybody else seems to think. But here's some other numbers of things that didn't happen on network television, but happened on cable television. The NHL playoffs, okay? The NHL playoffs averaged 1.4 million. The NBA playoffs averaged 4 million. The MLB averaged 3 million. In the AFL Aussie Rules Football Grand Final averaged 2.93 million. So I guess sports, the live watching, when it's not on a network channel, is not as high as you would expect for other things, probably because you can get highlights and catch up with everything like that. But why do you think those numbers aren't as high as, let's say, Game of Thrones, or let's say the 30 million people that watch the NFL playoffs whenever they were on network television? Is it strictly because of access? Is it because it's so high up in the channel changer? What is the reason on why it's low? And by the way, if we were to get 5.8 million people to watch this, we would be ecstatic. We would be <laughs> beyond pumped. But I'm just saying, I thought you could have told me 700 million people watched that on Sunday, and I would be like, yep, I agree completely. I think potentially is because it was a holiday weekend when people have been inside for two months, and they used this weekend to go. You saw like the Ozarks and Scottsdale and all these places where they had a chance to get outside. So their first priority probably wasn't the match. So if it was, there's a normal situation, then maybe it would have been 10 million possibly. I think the the holiday weekend hurt the match. Really? See, I assumed it was just because those people don't have cable. Like if you're watching the Masters, you you can just plug a cable jack into your wall. You have an antenna. You get you know those like eight channels that everyone gets. Like so it's a just lot, access. I think so. Like I think a lot of people are just cutting the cord, and you're not getting even ESPN or any of that well, stuff. Yeah, you go. You put those bunny ears up on the thing too. Mm -hmm. You still get NBC. You still get ABC. You yeah. still get CBS. You don't get Turner. You don't get TNT. You don't get True TV either. Mm -hmm. So it's. I guess that would be the reason why. And also golf. I would assume a lot of people were like, hey, I'll just see the highlights here. I'm not going to stick with it. And I think they missed quite a show. What's up, going Well, on? and that's the thing. It says peak 6.3 million. Is that the end of the match? Yeah, they, they had a time. 5.45. To 6.30 so. okay. or something like that. Okay. It was it was in that point. So they gave that direct thing. And also, who does these ratings? How do these ratings work? Nobody knows how ratings work anymore. It's like, because if YouTube TV, does YouTube TV cover any Turner channels? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does. Do yeah, they account for those? Do they count for people it. that are watching on YouTube TV? Like, are they counting for Diggs watching? It? I would assume these numbers are strictly off like Nielsen, like box ratings, like cable box ratings. I don't know if it would account for like YouTube TV or if you're watching it through Roku or anything like that. I would assume whenever they say six million people watch us golf right alternate shot and long drive and all this stuff that's a massive success and i loved it but in my head i thought you could have told me 20 million people watching i would have been like that makes sense mm. i like legit i said 700 million earlier but if you legitimately <laughs> told me 20 million or 30 million people watching i've been like yeah that makes sense because you think the nfl people would come you think the golf people would come you think the people that just like sports the gamblers would come i would have thought that so Maybe it's just a whole new world in ratings. Do you think it would have done that if it would have been on NBC or like Fox or CBS? I, I guess that's if it goes into your point of access. Yeah. I would assume that it would have done a lot better. But I mean, why would go Turner put up Bleacher put put up the money? Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. a Turner company. Mm -hmm. But you would think that'd be something like NBC, CBS, or ABC would have been mm -hmm. like, oh, here's a home run. But then you don't have Charles Barkley. 
Yeah, true. Which is a big part of the whole thing. When those numbers did come out, though, like it was said like as a success. So like there's yeah, said, one million percent, it's a success. And by the way, everybody nowadays, because I think ratings are a lot harder to get yeah. than it used to be, because you have no idea what's being tracked. Because the Nielsen ratings, I think that is, they track like some boxes and it, who's watching your bot and everything like. But it's not. They do a calculation on yeah. said amount of. So I don't know how accurate it is. We talked about this the other day because Nielsen's getting into data ratings too. It's like. Uh, does Nielsen know? I, I, does I like how? Who is this Nielsen lady or man? Great who who the hell are they? How does this Great work, question. Mr. Nielsen? And man. you always hear people talk about back in the day ratings where this where you only had like four options for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Now you can watch an entire golf match, all the big moments on your phone as they're happening. As soon as Tom Brady hold out, Bleach Report had that up, which uh -huh. by the way they showed up because it's marketing to drive to the show. But it's like okay, all the people that maybe were thinking about not showing that or not watching that, they already saw the highlight right there. Like it's like okay, let's move on. I don't got to do anything else. And then Justin Thomas calls Charles Barkley a fat ass. Like, Okay, that's good. That's put on a thing. I saw that. It's been, you basically, I think viewing habits are so different now. Those ratings, I guess I shouldn't expect them to be that high. Game of Thrones, you couldn't watch anywhere else, right? Correct. Right. No. Unless so that's pirated it, but yeah. That, other than that, so if people want those ratings back, which I hope they don't because I like following along with stuff on my phone and not really having to watch the entire thing, especially stuff, you know, like hockey and stuff like you, you know. Don't want to do that. But, uh, well, if it's not the Penguins, if it's uh, some other stupid team, it's like hard because hockey's impossible to find, yeah, especially yeah. now because they're voting on voting on voting yeah. on things. Yeah, like a fake things. hockey town in Detroit. But, uh, but exactly, yeah, do you think town. Do you think the rain the, or the delay, the fact, do you think that affected anything at all? Because it did go pretty late. The issue with all of the thoughts of did the delay affect and everything like that, I guess in Indiana, nobody was home. <laughs> Yeah. Like uh, the quarantine in some places, people are locked in their houses. You would ex expect anybody that's interested in sports kind of to turn on the show if they're locked in their house. But I think that's more indicative of what was happening on Memorial Day weekend of what everybody was doing. 5.8 million is a lot of people. I, I am not saying that it's not. That is a lot of people. But it's like whenever you think about the Masters, it had 10 million. Now it's down on network television. So is that that big of a difference? Net network television is a 40% a difference. Is that is that real? It know. might be. I mean, pretty much every house has a TV, you know, but they don't necessarily have cable. But you can you can access the Masters if you want to watch it without cable. 5.8 million people got to see a great show. I'm happy to be one of them, proud to be one of them. And boy, if you would have told me 75 million people watch it, I would agree. <laughs> In my head, I'm trying to calculate the actual number. You tell me 75 million people watch that golf thing, I would have been like, I believe it. I absolutely believe Brady it. and Peyton, too. Like, for us, I feel like Brady and Peyton are the pinnacles Tiger, of the biggest sport. Tiger Woods, yeah, the ti yeah. Tom Brady, yeah. Peyton Manning. I, I would have thought that. Now, granted, it's the biggest golf thing in cable history. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is a record-breaking thing. But if you would have told me a astronomical amount of humans after that number were watching, I would have been like, yeah, absolutely. I agree completely. Yeah. Also, that Masters number, that $10 million that we have from last year, is Tiger won it. So, I mean, that's just going to be a... Yeah, Tiger. The Tiger effect is real, yeah. just like the Tom Brady effect is real. You listen to the commentators on um, schedule release night. They had Jim Nance, Joe Buck, Al Michaels, and Rich Eisen talking. And whenever those commentators were talking about having Tom Brady on the schedule, it was like, oh, we have Tom this year. Like, oh, excited for the NFC to get a chance to learn about Tom. Joe Buck was talking about how he hasn't had a lot of Tom Brady games. And Jim Nance was like, oh, you're going to love Tom. You're going to absolutely love Tom. And Tom does well for business, by the way, is what Al Michael said, I believe. So it's like Tom Brady is an eyeball grabber. Peyton Manning is an eyeball grabber. Tiger Woods is an eyeball grabber. And those calves that Phil Mickelson have is electric, must-see stuff. Charles Barkley's in there as well. Hey. Tough to get eyeballs these days, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe Nielsen's just options. screwing everybody over. There is a lot of <laughs> options.